All right, guys. So today I'll be teaching you how to develop a forex trading investment website where you have to manually add profit and add loses, right? A lot of people have come to me and asked me to teach them how to develop a forex trading website where the profit, you know, can be controlled by the admin. That is to say, admin, you know, after users and investors have come to make an investment, um, admin should be able to manually add profit and, um, you know, manually add lose if they want to manually control their user panel. So that is to say, they want admin to have the power to be able to control how much a, a, an investor earns when it comes and deposit on their website so probably maybe they have to do the forest trading themselves and you know manually determine if an investor is going to make profit or not so today i'm going to be showing you a forest trading website where you can manually control it as an admin right so you know in getting this kind of website on the first thing for you to do is to purchase the domain name and hosting right and where i always tell my people to purchase domain name and hosting is name cheap reason why i like name cheap is that the customer care is very good and they encourage this kind of websites and also the uh, services is very 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 awesome they have all the required um, software plugins that you need to run this kind of advanced website right so when you come to Namecheap, right you have to purchase shared hosting right you have to purchase shared hosting and this package here right here just 1.58 dollar is just right cool for you to purchase right so after you have purchased your hosting and domain then you are good to go so they'll send you cpanel login and all you need to do is or to just log into your cpanel and your cpanel area is going to look like this right so i'm just going to go right into my cpanel and upload the script and show you how it works so when i log into my cpanel all i need to do is come to file manager so follow me, this tutorial is very, very simple. So as you can see from my file manager, I already have too many websites. But if you are just purchasing your hosting for the very first time, you may not see a lot of files like I already have. All you need to do is just what, go to public underscore HTML, right? All you need to do is go to public underscore HTML and upload the script that I will be giving to you, right? I'm going to tell you how you are going to get this script at the end of this training, very, very sound and good script, right? So I'm just going to upload this script right into my public underscore HTML, right? So, but before I um, upload into my public underscore HTML, I'm going to create a folder. So I just click on folder, then I'll say forest manual, right? So I'm going to say forest manual, I create a folder, right? But you, if you are purchasing your hosting for the very first time and you are doing this for your client, you don't need to create any folder, right? All you need to do, just make sure you are here and you click on upload. Right, so but me, I'm going to go right into this forest manual and upload the script because I want my script to be right inside this folder. So that when I want to access my website, it's going to be my domain name.com slash what forest manual. But you don't need to do that if you are doing this for your client and you are purchase your public under um your your domain name and hosting. All you need to do is just upload to public underscore HTML. Any site that you want to run on the internet must exist under public underscore HTML. So right, I'm just going to double click. Look at it. So from here, I'm going to double click on forest manual. Now I'm going to click on upload. And I'm going to click on select file and I'm going to click on choose file. So the file is on my desktop and it's called uh Expert Forest. So this is this file here. Look at it, it's just 40 MB. So this is the file that I'll be giving to you for you to upload. It's just 40 MB. So I just upload the file right away. So the file is going to upload. It's not going to take you much time to upload the file. So let's watch the file as it uploads. All right, the file is still uploading, right? So it's going to take you just a few uh, minutes, maybe less than a minute for the files to get uploaded, right? All right, so you see the file has reached 100%. Please ensure you let it show green 
after uploading, right? Make sure it shows green. You don't just, you know, you see what I'm saying now, it has shown green. So when it shows green, it means it has fully uploaded. So I'll just click here and go back. So this is the file right here, right? So you can see that the file is zip and it's 40 MB. So all you have to do is what? Well, you just right click on this file, then you click on what? Extract. So you click on Extract Files again. So the file will be extracted, right? So you just click on Close right here. Look at it right here. So you just click on what? Close right so you see my file has been extracted right so it's inside another folder right it's inside another folder i need to also open up this folder so i'm just going to open up this folder double click on it can you see all the files here but i want to move the file to what forest manual so i'll just what select all but for you, you all you need to do is just move it to public underscore html right but for me i want to move it to forest manual because i am installing and working inside forest manual so i just select or then i'll click on what so I'll click on what uh, move files. Can you see that? So I'm just going to delete this and remain only forest manual. Can you see that? So but for you, if you have purchased your domain name and hosting, and that's the only site you want to put right there, all you have to do is what make sure you remove everything remaining public underscore HTML. But me, I'm putting it inside forest manual. So I just click on move files. So all these files will be moved. Can you see that all of them have been moved? So if I come back to um, public underscore HTML. And open forest manual. So can you see that all of these files are inside forest manual? Can you see that all of these files are inside forest manual? So if I come here now and open this file and you know put this right here and um, I see forest manual. So I see forest manual and just um, load that file up. Awesome. Can you see that? In just uh, four minutes or three minutes, you already get the site up and running. So you can see that. Awesome. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's so awesome. So you can see that the site has been uploaded right away. Can you see that? Can you see that beautiful site? If I come to a battle, can you see that? Can you see that everything has been done for you? If I go to services, everything has been done for you. If I go to pricing, and you see that everything has been done for you. Professional script, everything has been done for you, and it's very, very slick and fast, right? Can you see that? So the next thing we have to do is what we have to what configure this sign in and this word register so that users can come in register and what and sign in right so for we to do that right we have to what create a what a database right we have to create a database and upload the database file i'll show you how to get the script and also get the database file at the end of this video so let's go back to the cpanel so this is my cpanel area i will just type that uh, so you're going to show database so you see my sql database wizard so this is what you're going to use so you just click on it so I'm going to create my uh, database name. I'll call it uh, manual because it's man db, right? I'll call it man db. So anything you like to use, whatever, I'll click on next. So I'm going to create my user and I will say man user, right? So then I'm going to generate my password. So generate anything you like, you just generate anything that you like for your password. But when I'm generating my password, you know, I just, you know, click here and generate any password I have. So I just copy this password. So you just copy this password, then open notepad because we are going to need this information. So don't just um, create and keep and leave like that. So I'm going to open a notepad and put the password right here. So that's the password. Then I'm going to click, I have copied this password in a safe place. Can you see that? click on this and i'll click on use password then i'm going to click on what create user can you see that awesome so i'm going to copy this username and password again that i put here i'm going to copy this and um, um, where do i have it right here so i'm going to copy that and put right here so i need all those information so all i need to do what click on all privileges make sure you click on all privileges then you click on what next step not to make changes click on what next step awesome our database have been you know created so the next thing we are going to do right away which is the step three of this training is to what upload the 
database file. There is a database file. It's called the SQL file, structured query language file, right? Don't bother yourself with the English. Just the database file. It's very simple. So I'm going to go to back to home page. Then we will now look for PHP my admin PHP. So you see that a name mark can do this. So click on PHP my admin to open it. So it's going to open my database tables and the um, files for me. I obviously have a lot of databases right here, but for you, you will just only see what you have created, right? But you see me, I have a lot because I have a lot of websites right here. But if you can see right here, this is the one I created. Can you see that? So anyone that you created, you're going to see them right here. So I'm just click on only that I created. So I click on that. It's going to open up for me. So we can see that that open up for me and it's empty. So I'm going to click on import. Can you see that? I'm going to click on import. I'm going to click on choose file. I'm going to show files. So the file will be this file. Can you see that? Expatrade.sql. So this, I'm going to give you access to these two files, right? So just double click on it. And I'm going to click on go. Awesome. Can you see that? That has been done right away. So the next thing we are going to do right here is to what is to just configure this. But let me just um see some of the tables right here. So you see that this is the um, database man db. Can you see that too? There's an admin right here. So if I click on the admin, it's going to open the admin table for you, right? So you're going to see the admin username and the admin password to log into the admin end of the website right so this is the admin username and this is the admin password right so i'm just going to change the admin username and admin password right here so i'm just going to double click this and i say see that i can change the admin username you can see can you see that so that is the admin username and admin password so I can change the admin password to whatever I like to write. So this is the admin username and this is the admin password, right? So I'm going to give you the admin username and admin password, so don't worry about that. So let's go right away and configure the database. So inside of our file, you are going to see a file called con.php, right? You're going to see a file called con.php, right? Con.php. So I'll just right click on this and I'll click on edit, then I'll click on edit. So this is where you are going to put those information. So let's put our database information. Our password is this. I'm just copying my password. Please, when copy, make sure you don't copy space. So where is the password right here? So this is the password right here. So I'm going to replace this password with my password. Can you see that? So what's the username? I'm going to replace this username with my username. My user. That's the username right here. So I'm gonna remove that username and put this new username. So one more step is the database name. So here is the database name. I'm gonna put the database name right here. Can you see that? So that's the database name. So I'm gonna save this. Awesome, that has been saved. Our username and password has been configure right how is that name and password have become because so if i click on signing so you're going to see that the sign is going to load can you see that the signing has load if i click on register so you're going to see that the register has also loaded and i can i go ahead to create my account but before i go ahead to create my account let's first of all log into the admin end of this right so if you go to the readme file just open the readme file um you're going to see uh um, the, the 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 link to the admin. This is the link to the admin, right? Can you see that? So I'm just going to copy the link to the admin right here. I'm going to copy the link to the admin. I'm going to put the link to the admin right here. So the link to the admin is slash admin slash c 2 w admin slash signing the php so but it means that we are going to work now copy this URL because it will contain our URL to our website. So copy the URL to our website and we'll put it at the front right here. And you see that just make sure it's just one slash. So it's going to be our you know website domain slash this particular link. So I'm just gonna click on enter. So can you see that it's not going to take me to the admin end straight away? Can you see that it's gonna take me to the admin end? So what is the admin username and password? So this is the admin username and password. 
So I'm just going to copy this username. I'll put it there. What is the admin password? This is the admin password. I'm just going to copy the password and put it right there. Awesome. So I'm going to sign in. So if everything looks good, you're going to sign in to the admin of this. Awesome. Can you see that? I am already signing to the admin of this site, right? So immediately you get signed into the admin of this site. All you have to do is what? You just go to what? Admin wallet, right? So you go to admin wallet. This is your wallet ID. So you have to replace this wallet ID with your own wallet id right so you have to replace this wallet id with your own wallet id so maybe this is my wallet id i'm just going to replace that and i'm going to click on upgrade details and my wallet id will be upgraded right so then another thing you have to do is go to settings right so when you go to settings you have to enter your domain name in your settings so the domain name you must put it in your settings so maybe this is my um, um domain name um so this is my website name let me just put it right here Okay, let me just say forest manual. No, here is gonna be your website name, forest manual. Can you see that? So this is gonna be my my admin email. So you have to create this admin email, right? You have to create this admin email. So this is admin admin.media.com. So if you want to create admin email, you need to just go to email, right? So you go to email account, right? So you click on create. Don't so have to create a webmail. Click on create, then um, you just enter admin. But I've already created this, then you also generate a password, then you click on create, and that will be created. But I've already created that, so you don't need to create that again. So let's go back to uh, what we're doing. So I've already entered this forest manual, and welcome to forest manual. So click on what, update details. So you can see that it's very, very simple to do. I can just come back home, right? So you see total amount withdrawn, total amount deposits, all of these will be right here, requested transaction. So it's a withdrawal request for this particular script. So if you're using it for your client, all of this information, you don't need them. So you have to what, delete them off. Can you see that? So that your database will be clean, just delete them off. You can delete them off. And you delete them off. <clears throat> awesome. So I go back to request it to launch. I click on deposit orders. So anybody who deposits, you know, if um, deposit orders will be here. People who deposit, you will see them here, and you can come and approve them, or you have to delete them. Anybody who make a withdrawal, you will see them here also. So, but I want to delete all of this so that we can um, get new information on our database. So you can see that you delete all of this out of it. So I've deleted all of this, right? So from here, you can see people who want to make withdrawal requests and people who want to deposit. Right here, you're going to see your what? You see your view investors, right? People who have invested, right? So you can see people who have your who have invested in your site and you can see manage users. So your users are also your investors. So you can see the investors I have here. I can also delete them. I can delete them. Can you see that? I can delete them. So we'll go to manage users again. You see, oh, of the users have been deleted right so we also have the um yeah you can change password and all of that we also have the trade right here right so we also have the trade so i'm going to show you how we can use the trade so you can see our database everything has been removed right from here so let me just um load my site again in a fresh browser so i can register so I'll load my site right here so let me just register right away Awesome, so I'm gonna register. So I'm gonna put my first name. So I'll put my email. I'm gonna put my phone number. And here I'm gonna put my password. Right, can you see that? So it's very, very easy. So I'm gonna put, um, create an account. You have successfully registered. Can you see that account has been created, right? So I'm just going to log in straight away because it's very straight away um, script. So I'm just going to log in right away. Awesome. Can you see that? Can you see that? This is so, so awesome. Can you see that? So I am logging right away inside this. Can you see that? This is so, so awesome. I'm logging right away, right away, right away right away right away so can you see that 
I'm blocking right away into the system. So and you can see my account. So you can see my transactions, transaction history. This is so so awesome. So can you see that? You can see my deposit new requests. Can you see that? Deposit. So you see the admin wallet that we added, and we can also scan it and you know and deposit all along. All right. So now let me go back to my dashboard. Awesome. So this is my dashboard, right? So the next thing I will need to do for my dashboard is to what is to deposit. So I click on deposit form. So I'll copy this wallet ID. So let's say I want to deposit. Um, how much do I want to deposit? I'm about to be deposit. I want to deposit one thousand dollars. So that's one thousand dollars. What am I depositing? Is it Ethereum or Bitcoin? So I'm using um, Bitcoin. So this um, uh, support Ethereum and, Bit and Bitcoin, right? So I'm just going to deposit one thousand dollars. So I click on deposit. Your, your deposit is currently under review. Your balance will be created once the deposit is confirmed. So I click on OK. Can you see that? So I have deposited. So let's go back to the admin and if we are going to see this money that has been deposited. So I'll go back to my admin. Awesome. Can you see that $1,000 was deposited by somebody? Can you see that $1,000? So if I go to what investors management and I click on what manage users, you will see that we already have one user. Can you see that? We already have one user. So if I go to requested transaction and I'll see go to deposit orders, we also see that he has deposited what 1000 BTC. Can you see that? I can decide to delete it or approve it. So let's approve it. So I'm going to approve it. Awesome. Can you see that? That has been what approved. You know, transaction approved, $1,000 approved. So let's go back to our user end and just refresh. Let's just um, click on here and go back here. So we'll refresh. $1,000 has been deposited into our account. Can you see that right here? Can you see that? $1,000. Can you see that? $1,000 has been deposited right here. Can you see that? So now I want to now trade with the $1,000. Can you see that? So I want to now trade with the $1,000. So how do we trade? You either buy Bitcoin or you sell Bitcoin, right? And we also have the word expert trader right here. So let's say I want to what, sell Bitcoin, right? So we want to trade now. And you can also see that you can trade for stock. Can you see that? You can trade for stock. Can you see that? You can trade for cryptocurrencies. Can you see that? You can trade for oil and gas. Can you see that? You can trade for indices. So, what do you want to sell? Do you want to sell for oil and gas or you want to buy? Can you see that? You can go trade for forex. For forex, do you want to sell Bitcoin or you want to buy Bitcoin? Can you see that? For stock, do you want to sell or do you want to buy? Can you see that? So, and you also see that you have $1,000 here. And you see the range where the market is moving to west. Can you see all of that? This is so so awesome. So let's say maybe I want to trade for forex right now, right? So I cannot say what sell Bitcoin or buy Bitcoin. So I cannot say what uh, sell Bitcoin, right? So I'm about to sell. Which are the uh, market market execution yet? So you not click any of all of these, but I'll just leave it for US dollar, right? So stop lose means that when my money is um below let's say when my money is five hundred dollar uh, let's say when my money is five hundred dollar stop lose right take profit immediately my money is what two thousand dollars i'm putting one thousand dollars even my money is two thousand dollar uh I, i'll say take profit right i'll say so i just went into so i'll say what sell market so, okay, amount to sell. So, let me put the amount to sell, uh, very important. So, amount to sell is, let me say, I want to put $1,000 to $1,000. So, I want to sell $1,000. So, I can click on sell market. Your order has been submitted successfully. Can you see that? So, my $1,000 has been entered successfully, right? So, if I now go to admin, let's go to admin. So, let me just refresh the admin. Okay. So, if I go to trade now, right, can you see that? If I go to trade, I'm going to see the trade that this person is executing. So stop lose, take profit at two thousand dollar. Enter trade. Can you see that? Can you see that? So I see status is pending. Can you see that? So I can now what approve this. So admin, we manually do everything like I told you. So admin, we want approve this. So when admin approve this, so it's going to be approved on the user. And so let me just refresh right here. Just go back to my dashboard. You see that 
admin has approved this, so that money has been um, the, um, removed from the account because the money is not inside the market. So I can come here and click on marketplace and click on forex. And you see that so I can click on forex. You can see everything is working. If I go to deposit and uh, see uh, history. <clears throat> You see the one thousand dollar that are deposited, and the deposit has been, you know, approved, and everything is working very well. So can you see that? So now, when I come to trade history, right? So you see profit and lose. Can you see that? When I come to trade history, you see if I come to trade, you're gonna see something like this marketplace again. So if I go back to marketplace and I go to forest again. Go to transaction and go to history. All right, so when I go to transaction and I go to history, right? So you have to go to transaction and you go to trade history for you to see how your trade is performing, right? For you to see how your trade is performing, you have to go to transaction, then you have to go to what trade history. So you see my trade history right here. You see my withdrawal, nothing has been withdrawn. You see my deposit, right? So if you want to deposit again. So now let's go back to trade history, right? So you see approve my profit is zero and my lose is zero so now i told you that this is a manual script so i me now want to add what maybe 100 dollars to this right so i'm going to add 100 dollars okay this guy has made 1100 dollars so let's go back to admin so i'll just go to trade awesome so when i go to trade i'll see everybody who has traded right here so i'll just click on what update can you see that i can click on update can you see that? I'll click on upgrade. So I'll say profit, I'll say $1,200, and I'll say lose, and I'll just say what, $50. Then I'll click on what? Update. So just watch the way this works. Can you see that? That has been added. So now let's go back here again, and let's watch, uh, go back to, maybe let's go back to our dashboard. Can you see that? $1,200. Can you see that? $1,200 means what well, this person is making money, right? So if I go back to um, um, and transaction and I go to what history, can you see that? Can you see that? If I go back to transaction and I go to history, see profit is $1,200, lose is $50. Can you see that? So I can go back right here again and update that. I can add another $1,000 and I'll say $200 and I'll click on update. Awesome, can you see that again? So when I come here again, let me just refresh this from here. Can you see that? Can you see that? $1,200 and see the lose $250. Can you see that? That is so, so awesome. So if I go to withdraw right here, I can say new request. Can you see that? I have $2,200 right here. And let's say I want to withdraw $1,200. And I'll put my Bitcoin wallet. I want to withdraw to, I'll just click on what? Withdraw. Can you see that your withdrawal request has been sent? You'll be created once your request is approved. Can you see that $1,200 has been withdrawn? So if I go back to the admin again, let me go back to the admin. This is so, so awesome. So when I go back to the admin and I go to what request transaction and go to withdraw request, I will see that this guy has withdrawn what $1,200. Can you see that? And I will see what complete. Awesome. Can you see that? It's $1,200 has been withdrawn from this and that will now be paid into his Bitcoin um, and wallet. And you see that his balance is worth $1,000. This script is so awesome. A lot of work has been done to make this script work. Can you see that? It's so, so awesome. So, so awesome. So guys, this is a very, very awesome screen. So another thing I want to show you is that how you can um, change this image, right? Like and the image you have on the front page. Let me just show you. So I you can edit the logo so that the logo becomes your logo. Every other thing here is done for you, right? Every other thing right here is done for you. So this is the logo. I'm just um, right click on the logo and I'll say copy image address. So I'm just gonna put the logo right here. Can you see that? So this logo is inside Forest Manual Images and Logo slash PNG, PNG, right? So all I need to do is what I'll make sure what I design a new logo and make sure the logo is the same name with this logo. Can you see that? The logo must be the same name with this particular logo, and I'll just replace the logo with this particular logo. So let me just um save this. So I'm going to save this image as logo. 
right here. Awesome. So I'm just going to replace this logo right here, right? So the logo is in forest format slash image slash logo.png. So I've already um, created my own logo that I want to use for this. So I'll just go right into my cPanel. So let me go back to my cPanel. So this is my cPanel. So don't forget, let me check again. It's on forest format slash images. So this is my cPanel. And then um, it's on forest format slash images. All right. So I'm just going to open up images, right? So slash images. Yes, then logo, right? So it's going to be here. So it's going to be right. So this, so this is logo. So I'm just going to upload this. I'm going to put select file and then choose file. So desktop. So logo. So this is the logo that I've designed to replace that. So just make sure it's the same name and this an extension. So I've already replaced that. Can you see that? That has been replaced, right? So the same thing, if I go to um, um, this area, I just right click on this and I'll say what? Copy image address. So I'm going to put this right here. You see that it's inside dashboard asset images icon and logo to PNG, right? So now let me go and replace that. So first of all, go to forest manual, then go to dashboard. So let's go back to what we are doing. I'm going to store HTML for us manual. Uh, what's the next one just now? Dashboard, right? Let's check again. Dashboard, then yeah, assets. So this is assets. Sorry, we have to so let's, let's confirm very well. Is it assets or asset? So it's assets. Let's make sure we're doing the right thing. So it's assets, right? Assets. Look at this. The images. Then icon. The images. Look at it. Images. So you open it, then icon, look at icon here, so you just right click to open it. Then you want to upload again. So you select file. So you choose file. And this is the logo. So you replace this again. Then you say yes. Can you see that? So that is how you can change the logo. Now what about if you want to change, let's say you want to change anything on the home page, you want to change all of these and all of that. If you want to change one or two things from the page, like this page is the index page, so all you have to do is just come back here and then um, go to back to forest manual. So you see the pages, look at all the pages here. You see the index page, which is the home page. So if I right click on this right here and I can click on edit and I can click on edit. So let's say, for instance, I want to change this index page. I want to change the footer. Look at the footer right here. Copyright 2021. So I can just say copyright. I can copy this copyright here and come to index. Click on inside and say Control F. F means fine. So I'll just put it right here. Can you see that? If I put it right here, so copyright will show you. Can you see that copyright 2021 as partner? So I'll just remove this and say what? Forest manual. Can you see that? I have changed that. Can you see that? So anything I want to change on this page, anything I want to change, look at it. Get started today with Bitcoin. So I can say Can you see that? So anything I want to change, anything I want to change, all of them will be right inside this page. So when I'm done, I'm just go on save changes. So you see that all my changes have been done, right? All my changes have been done. So let's just come here again and um, refresh and see. So uh, just sometimes when you make your changes, you know, you may not um, instantly see the changes like that you have made, right? So if you make your changes, you may not see the changes instantly that you have made. So you need to be patient, especially when when, when um, um, this um, logo right here. So I'll just copy this and um, let me go to a new browser. So I'll click on this place from this browser and I'll click on new incognito window. Then I'll put this right here. So the computer window, you know, means it's like a refreshing of your of your system, right? It's like a refreshing of your system, you know, for you to quickly see the changes. Because a lot of people, you know, when they are doing something, they are not patient, right? Can you see that? A lot of people are not patient. So can you see that it has been. So if I click on sign in from here right now, so you see that everything has been thoroughly done. So can you see that so I just log in, can you see that everything has been changed? You see, this system is so so awesome. 
right? You can even change the front end if you want to change the front end and all of that. Anything that you want to do, just make sure you know what you're doing. But you can actually go with this screen just the way it is right now. And you have seen that admin can manually, you know, change everything and what boost the investment and also um, and determine the lose and also determine the the profit. Wow, this is so awesome. So I want to give you access. So I want to give you access to get this script right. So I'm going to give you access to get this script right now. So this script, I'm going to give you access to get it. This script, you know, I did this particular job for um, somebody for 350,000 error, right? I did it for 350,000 error, but I'm not going to be charging you 350,000 error. I'm just going to give you this script the way it is, everything perfectly working, right? Everything working so perfectly well. I'm just going to give you for 30,000 error. That is, if you are in Nigeria, you're going to pay 30,000 error only for this script. And I'm going to give you this script. And if you have issue installing the script, I'm going to assist you to install the script. It's a very, very simple script to implement. And also, if you are not in Nigeria, I am going to charge you just $70, right? So you are going to see um, how you're going to make payment on this script. If you are paying from any part of the world, you're going to pay $70. You're going to see a link below this video. Just click on the link and make payment. And automatically, you will be redirected to download this script automatically without any stress, right? You'll be redirected to download the script automatically without any, any any stress, right? So, but if you are probably not in Nigeria, you're gonna use the dollar payment link and pay, and also you'll be redirected to download this script immediately. And you can see that this is worth 1,000 to three thousand dollars so if you're also a designer you can charge your client between two hundred thousand to four hundred thousand or six hundred thousand to do this kind of job and if you are international you're going to charge your client between one thousand dollar to five thousand dollar to get this kind of system done for them and they are just going to pay to get this kind of system for them and you also can set up a gig on fiverr or upwork that you design a forest trading website we have you um, admin can manually control the site and impute profit or lose, and you can get boom, people to rush you. So once again, my name is Ajay Adebayo. Do not let anyone scam you. Do not uh, let anyone come to you. Um, you know, you, you know, you know that if you want to get to me, just you can chat me on WhatsApp, right? You can chat me on WhatsApp. So this is my WhatsApp number. All right, so that is my WhatsApp number. You can just chat me on WhatsApp and um, boom, I'm going to give you every support that you need. Also, you're also going to see my email, you know, somewhere around this video and all of that, and my maybe social media connect. You can just chat me up if you having any issue. I'm just going to be right there for you. So like I said, any script that you need, any kind of script that you need, I am right here to design it for you. If you need a custom script, just uh, DM me, send me a message. I'm going to design that particular script for you. Of course, I'm going to charge you higher than I usually sell my script. Of course, you can be rest assured that with me, you know, you are going to get the best and you're going to make a lot of money. A lot of testimonies have been coming up. People have been making a lot of money using this same system. Somebody said he has made a hundred thousand dollars just watching my videos isn't that awesome that is very awesome so thank you guys go ahead and order the script because if you don't order the script now maybe when you come back in the next one more this script would have been increased to three hundred dollars if i remove the script from um seventy dollars i'm going to increase it to three hundred dollars till it gets to one thousand dollars because it's usually it's it's worth it right so thank you guys for listening to my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that when i drop similar and good videos like this you get to see them i am the only one who can teach you all of this you can get it anyway so thank you and i wish you all the best in all you do